Hello art friends. We have painted our color wheel now and now we're going to cut it out. And once we cut it out, we are going to put the template in between each pie to cut a little round notch so that it looks like an umbrella. So here I go. I'm putting my template on and you might have to kind of move your line a little bit. It's not going to work perfectly for everyone, but you just want each pie to have a little notch cut out of the top part so it looks like an umbrella. Then you're going to take your scissors, you're going to trim all of those notches, and while you're trimming them, you need to be thinking about what am I going to do with all these little pieces of my color wheel because that is an additional assignment. So there it is. Now I'm going to take my thick black marker. I'm going to detail in between the colors to make them look a little crisper. I'm going to go around the edge of the color wheel to just make it look a little more sharp. And then this piece is going to rest and it will come back to you when you are ready to assemble your composition. So now you're going to take your scraps onto a piece of paper and you are going to arrange them somehow and glue them down and then you're going to put marker on it or colored pencil or you could do printmaking, whatever you want, but this is an additional assignment to the color wheel. So going back to prepping our pieces for our composition. I'm getting another piece of paper writing my name on it and I have a piece of aluminum foil and I'm going to start coloring uh, my foil so that I have kind of a starburst kind of thing here. So I'm starting with yellow in the inside and you can see as my markers are going dead I'm just tossing them because I've got to have some nice rich color going on. So then after I do yellow I'm gonna next go to orange and work my way out. All right, so now I have my uh, aluminum foil colored. I've gone almost to the edges, so I've got a good amount of space colored, and I did rip my foil there, but that's okay. So now I'm going to get my mister bottle, and I'm going to mist on the, on the foil, and I am generously misting. Now you need to be responsible about your misting. If you're going to mist people, then I will take your mister, and you will not be able to do it. So now I'm going to lay my paper down and I'm going to massage my paper on top of the wet marker and I'm just rubbing it really good and my hands are getting a little bit dirty and that's okay but you want to really massage the paper let it really absorb that marker color and you can see my hands are got, got dirty okay so now I'm gonna roll it off and there is my print of the marker and I'm just holding it and letting the water drip down so it looks kind of drizzly. You could do this or not, it's up to you.
So now with my name on the back of this, it's going to go to the dry rack, and I'm going to do two or, you know, two or so, maybe three of these if I have time. Okay, so day two. Now all of my papers are dry, and I've got a little bit of dictionary paper, and I'm going to slather it with Elmer's, or not Elmer's glue, a glue stick, and then I'm going to flip it over, and I am going to press You'll see I'm not pounding, I'm just pressing it so that glue will adhere. And then I'm grabbing the uh, printout of my body and I'm going to cut as close as I can to the body. The nicer trim job you do, the better you'll like this and try to make it so you just have one hand so it makes sense because the other hand is holding up your umbrella. So then once you get this all cut, you're going to apply glue stick again and slather the glue stick on the back. And then you're going to put it onto the dictionary paper. As you put it on the paper, you want to make sure you're pressing and holding for a few seconds. And then we're going to slather some more glue stick onto our umbrella. All right, and there is my composition. And uh, I have a lovely picture of some people under an umbrella. We've made, made use of printmaking and color theory. And this has been a great project. I hope you have enjoyed it. And thank you for watching. Okay.